Yet, we find that there is a little bit of a contradiction mm -hmm. that's taking place in the Muslim Ummah during that time period. Oh, what is that? I was like, oh, it's 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 uh, crazy, Sarah. Mm -hmm. So there is this hadith that states, and it's a Sahih hadith, that Amr ibn Khattab, okay, and, and he, this guy, he was like, he was like for, for the Sunni Muslims, the symbol yeah. of like wanting to protect the woman. Yeah, and wanting adamant. like women to be covered, and wanting to protect men from women. He is like the Paul yeah. of Islam, this guy. Very clear. And this guy added lots of things to Islam. We should also do a whole episode about yeah. him, about how he changed the Adhan and he added in there uh, as salatu khayrum in the nome and, mm. and he, he took out things, added things to the religion of Islam. So Omar, yes. Islam's Paul, uh -huh. what does he do? One day the hadith says that he passes by a woman and she was wearing a hijab. And the hijab was covering her hair. Okay. Okay. And then, and then he hits her. Well, why? She's he, covering for He hits her because she's covered. That's insane. He hits her because she's covered. Absolutely. He hits her because she's covered. Because he asks her, uh, are you a free woman? And she says, no. And he says the hijab is only for the free woman. Hijab is only for the. And he hits her so that she unveils herself because she was a slave girl. Ah, uh, because of the society. Yeah. So just okay. like in Judaism. Yeah. Where you have the 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 virgin. Yeah. She would not wear hijab. No. And in society over there, the married woman would wear the hijab. Over here, uh -huh. it was it was forbidden in society. That the woman yeah. who was a slave mm -hmm. should wear the hijab. Oh, because it's a symbol of a... Uh, a because the aura, yeah. that which is uh -huh. um, deemed lustful or, or uh, seductive for people, that which should be covered mm -hmm. for a slave girl is different than for a free girl. Okay. Okay? For a slave girl, it's only from her belly to her mm. knees. Knees, okay. Yeah. And that's why in Islam during those time periods, all of the slave women um, were topless mm -hmm. and uh, their hairs weren't covered mm -hmm. and uh, their body was totally showing. Mm -hmm. And uh, for years and years after that, they would be sold uh, in the market. Mm -hmm. And you even have, uh, you, so you have many paintings which demonstrate yeah. this and we hope that the producer can put them in. Mm -hmm. And also uh, photographs. Yeah. Even of minor girls during mm. the Ottoman Empire. Yeah. Okay. And 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 we don't want to put any photo photographs yeah. of minors in this episode yes. because of the fact that they were minors and mm -hmm. that's uh but but they're they're available online mm -hmm. and um either you can put perhaps blurred pictures mm -hmm. of of women mm -hmm. uh, from the Ottoman Empire mm -hmm. that were serving uh, these, um, Princes, you know, yeah. th their masters, mm -hmm. and they were forced to walk around in the palace completely mm -hmm. naked. Yeah, open for them to see, basically. Open for them to see. Yeah. And on the marketplace, they were sold openly. So if the argument mm -hmm. for the existence of hijab... Is to protect women? Is to protect women or to protect the men from being aroused by mm -hmm. uh, naked women in society, mm -hmm. that don't even make sense because they were all over the place. Exactly. They were serving them in their homes naked. Yeah. They were walking around in the streets naked. Exactly. Uh, they were being sold in the marketplace naked. Yeah. So it has nothing to do with morality in society. Clearly not. Absolutely not. You made it very clear. Like it's hypocrisy, really. Okay, of course it is. So there's a, a different agenda and attention behind. So then, so then, what is the purpose behind it? Exactly. And what we find is that uh, clearly, uh, God wants men and women and does command that. Mm -hmm. 
uh, in the Quran, in many verses, mm -hmm. in the Bible, on the tongues of Jesus and the rest of the prophets, uh, in the Torah, mm -hmm. God commands man and woman to be modest. Yes, it's true. To be humble. To have shame. Mm -hmm. To be decent human beings. Mm -hmm. God is against uh, promiscuous behavior, lewdness, mm -hmm. immorality in general yes. for both sexes. Yes. But what we find is that he does not command mm -hmm. in a clear fashion at all, mm -hmm. in a direct fashion at all. In Judaism, Christianity, Islam, in the Torah, in the Bible, in mm -hmm. the Quran, there is no verses, there are no verses mm -hmm. that state that a woman has to cover her hair. Yeah. This does not exist. It's clear you can't find it. You can't find it. 